All right, so today I want to talk about JavaScript expressions and statements, what they are, what the difference is between them, and why it's important to understand this. Um, so first of all, basic, basic definition. An expression is something that returns a value to you. Now, I'm going to explain the difference between that and a function in a minute as well. A statement is a complete task instruction. So you're telling the computer to do something. So some examples. Let's do some simple expressions. A value. One, two, three. Okay, that little bit of code is a value in itself, but it's also an expression. It's, it's something that gives you this number. If I do that, that is also an expression. If I have a string or a Boolean, any sort of value like that, that is an expression, an array. That is an expression. So let's throw in a couple of values here. There we go. Those are all expressions. So this little bit of code right here gives you a value. So what is a value? Well, a value is anything that can be held in a variable. Simple enough. Any of these things you can put into a variable. Well, I can also put functions into a variable. So we could say something like this. I can say let f equal function. You know, there's my function and it's going inside of here. Now, this is a value. So the value is being put inside of here, but it's not an expression. Functions return values. Yes. So right here, we've created a function. We've put it inside the variable f. So it's now something that we can call. So this is a statement. Everything that we've done up until here, all of these are expressions. This one is a statement. Now, if I call this function, now here, I'm calling it, and I'm getting back the value undefined. This is an expression. So the function declaration itself is not an expression. It's a value that can be held inside of here, but it's not an expression. It's not something that you can, and this is a test that you can use for whether or not something is a function or an expression. If I do this, if I say console.log inside of here, if I can put something inside of there and it doesn't generate an error, it's an expression. So one, two, three. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. It's going to write out one, two, three. The one plus one, that's an expression. So it will calculate the value returned by this bit of code, by this expression. It gives me the number two, and then console.log can write that out. If we do this, if I call the function f inside of here, console.log is able to write that out. So what we're talking about here is the ability to take something, a little bit of code, and if that gives me a value, something that I can move around, then that is an expression. So if we have here an iffy, an immediately invoked function expression. So here's our example. We've got the function. That's a statement. But if I wrap this inside parentheses and I stick the parentheses on the end here, what I'm doing is I'm calling this function. This is what turns it into an immediately invoked function expression. This is what makes it an expression is the fact that I'm calling it just like here we called it. So an iffy is an expression. If I do a ternary operator, if I use the ternary operator is alive. Something like this. This is an expression. So we've got the iffies are expression, ternary operator. Using that, that's an expression. Something that's similar to this is an if statement. If we do an if statement, if I say is alive equals one. 
That is a statement. If you have a for loop, that's a statement. If you have functions like we talked about before, the function on wrong, that's a statement. So this is a statement, this is a statement, and one of the important reasons why you'd want to do this, if you move into using React frameworks like React, so just a simple, if you haven't used React before, don't worry about this, but in React, we're going to have a function. So let's say it's going to be called app. And inside of here, we're going to return a value. React uses a thing called JSX, which is basically just XML embedded in JavaScript. So we could do something like this, create a div and have a paragraph inside there. And inside of here in the curly braces, I can put an expression. So I can put one plus one like that. In React, these curly braces wrap expressions. They don't wrap statements. And this is the reason why you can put a ternary operator inside of here. So inside of here, I can use this thing, but I cannot put an if statement because the if statement, we can throw that in there too, is alive equals one. This is a statement. It's an if statement. So this will fail. There we go. So in React, if we're using React, inside your return value, your JSX code that you're returning, expressions work, statements do not. Because you're allowed to embed an expression. Just like our test from before, when say console.log, I can put this expression, this expression inside of there, assuming that is alive is a variable, it's been declared, it has a value, we can put that inside of here. But we cannot do that with statements. I cannot put this statement inside of a console.log. That will just fail. And that's it. That is the difference between expressions and statements. So if you want to have this uh, code, uh, there's a link down in the description to the code just that has these little snippets. You can play around with it. But really, what it comes down to is this. The expression is something that will result in a value. JavaScript will look at it and it will try to evaluate it and give you back a single value representing it. So it'll reduce the expression down to a single value. Statements, it's a full instruction. So they usually end with semicolons. Now you can have an expression like I have right here. I threw a semicolon onto the end here. I don't need to do that. Um, Normally what you would have is let some variable equals the expression. So the thing on the right hand side here, this is the expression. This whole thing together, that is the statement. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.